Now, Casio make great watches, but this one, this one is dead. It was on my wrist for years and ended up in a drawer. And it's time to bring it back to life. In fact, in this video, I'm going to make it better than it was when I first got it. And there's something else potentially really helpful to you in this video because unlike my normal videos where I'm, you know, restoring a 1972 Rolex GMT Master, you know, that's not the sort of thing that you really want to be trying at home. But in this video, you can grab a little screwdriver and, you know, the very few tools that you'll need for this job and just work alongside me because you're just naturally going to learn how to change the battery. And at the end, we'll see just how nice I can make this great watch by Casio. Now, in the long version of this video, I'm going to take you through this printed circuit board in some detail. And if you want to see that video, you just have to become a member of my website. There is a link in the description below. But in this shorter video, I'm going to make a modification to this board by swapping out the old sort of dirty orange LED for a nice new shiny blue one. Well, on the upside, it's uh, it's not going to fall off. Okay, so just put in a little bit of current now through this new LED to check its operation. And 
yeah as you can see there it is it's looking really really good so I'm going to continue now in some detail looking at this uh, printed circuit board in the long version of the video and if you want to see that just uh, go to the link in the description and become a member of my website but for the shorter version let's get and clean the case up now and start the reassembly
god, that's good. That, that right is carrot cake, and it was sent to me by Kathy. Now, Kathy's a big, big fan of the channel, and she sent me some lovely carrot cake. So, Kathy, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, while I'm about it, I would like to thank all of my subscribers. Now, these days I've got a lot of subscribers. If you look down here somewhere, that down there, you'll see how many subscribers I've got. Now that now is a lot of subscribers. And if you, if you're one of them, I would really like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Now, let's get this watch back together. So everything is ready and it is time to start putting this lovely little Casio back together. So an obvious question to ask is how this printed circuit board makes a connection through to the LCD display and the answer is this row of output pins from the integrated circuit that you can see uh, here. Now they flip over and connect to this sort of connection rail on the embedded there in the in the watch and that makes the connection through to the LCD so actually this is a it's a really elegant design it's just pushed up against that which means there's no ribbon cable inside here the management of which in you know would be really irksome anyway there we are nice design really good stuff by Casio Now after you've replaced the battery, you need to put some tweezers between the contact marked AC, which is top left, and the back of the battery, which I'm going to do now.
Okay, let's set the time now on this little watch. And I'm using uh, as my reference this 1896 pocket watch that I have set to the exact time. And the first thing we're gonna do is use the bottom left button, press that a few times to scroll through to the time setting mode, and then look at the seconds there. And when the subdial of the pocket watch is right on the seconds, I need to press this one right here. And that sets the seconds. So you can see now that our seconds are in sync. So now to scroll through to the next thing to change, you need to push the bottom right. So push that and you'll see there that the number one is flashing. So what I need to do now is change that to 12. So we're going to change that again on the top here. Okay. So it's saying 12.08 now. It should be saying uh, 12.49. In fact, it's coming up to 50. So what we have to do now is press this bottom right again and you will see that start to flash. And then we need to keep the A push down and we will scroll forward. We're looking here for Forty-nine, fifty, fifty, 50, isn't it? 50, and that is the correct time now. Okay, let's get this thing watertight. Let's uh, freshen up the seal on the back, get it all closed up and get the strap on, and we are good to go. Okay, so the last thing we've got to do now is just put the new strap on. So that is pretty straightforward. Grab a spring bar and thread the spring bar through there. There's one and the other one. so and then just attach them to the case And there we are. All we've got to do now is wait till the night time to see what the loom is going to look like. But pretty chuffed with that. That actually looks like the day it came out of the shop. Check out that lovely little Casio digital watch. Let's take a look at the loom.